Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will configure Linux virtual machine in Azure using Ansible. So using a declarative language, Ansible allows you to automate the creation, configuration and deployment of Azure resources via Ansible playbooks. So in this video, we will see a sample Ansible playbook for configuring Linux virtual machine. So one of the pre prerequisites that you should have is you should have an Azure subscription and you should install Ansible on the Linux virtual machine and configure it or you can configure Azure Cloud Shell. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, this is Azure Cloud Shell. Connecting to terminal. Oh, you will see it. All right, so we will first create a resource group. We will create a, a virtual network. Then we will create a public IP address to allow the internet resources to communicate inbound to my Azure VM. Then we will configure the uh, network security group to filter the network traffic between the Azure resources and the virtual networks. Then we will create a virtual network interface cart and connect to the virtual machine to a given virtual network. Then we will create a virtual machine. So let me show you the complete sample Ansible playbook. Let me pull up my notepad plus plus. And this is the Ansible playbook. So if you would see the part, create Azure VM. So this is the main uh, sections that list. Okay, then we are creating the Ansible Sorry, we are creating the Azure VM and you see the task here. Create resource group. It is creating the virtual network. Uh, the subnet. Public IP address. The pub, dump public IP for VM which is created. Network security group. The virtual interface card. Then the create VM. Okay. Now I am logged. I will go to the Azure portal. Here I will open up the uh, VI editor. So I'll do okay. VI. Azure create VM dot YML. I will take this, I will copy and I will paste it. It will have all the tasks with the complete Ansible playbook. Virtual network in the resource group name my VNet. This is the address space. And this is the address prefix for the subnet. This is the public IP address. and the admin username. So what all things that we do while creating the machine uh, via portal, I'm gonna, so uh, you must have created a VM in Azure using Azure RM template. So if you have seen those PowerShell templates, this might seem similar to you, but in here we call them playbooks. Okay, so if I 
press escape and do colon w q enter i have saved that file and exit out of that file this file right so i'm not in the vi editor anymore so now if i want to run this playbook i will do ansible playbook and the name of my yaml file which is azure create vm dot yml and i hit enter let's see see it is creating the azure vm because you see the name of the file or the playbook was create azure vm i mean the the beginning and then it is gathering all the task line by line like resource group virtual network subnet public ip address network security group in the same way in which we have mentioned in that playbook right so it will see the task line by line execute them and show me the result and if you have worked with the docker containers in the docker file as well you mention the task or the commands in the docker file and they, they are executed one by one and there is a layer of the previous task on the next coming task which are executed right so and what all messages you would have got on the gui it is showing you in the while the executing of ansible playbook now it is creating a vm so now it's at the last last task here inside the playbook it failed we'll see error creating or updating virtual machine my vm Invalid parameter message. The value of running as a public key is invalid. Key data. Okay. I'm gonna fix it. So now, if you see here, admin username and the SSH public key. So what I'm gonna do is. I'm going to change it. Let me show you how. I changed it to this. Like I'm, I'm going to mention admin username, admin password, SSH password enabled equal to true, disable password authentication equal to false. So I'm going to do this. Go here. Open up the YAML file. remove all this or I'm going to create this file Base. Why is it or else I can create the SSH directory and the authorized keys file? Okay, I'm going to create it. I'll do uh, touch and do. the permissions now that I have created it and if I do it and try to run that again
let's see now because it will see that folder and the file name and then it can place the keys there right so let's see if this works or not it failed again i have to give the username and password okay give me a minute okay i'm going to create it again v i is your vm paste it why is it not aligning Okay, let's see. Ansible Paybook dot YML. Okay, I updated the file. You see, now it has no spaces. Okay, escape. Okay. Okay, now we'll run the command again. Hopefully it should work. It's your create vm.yml. All right, so it failed zero and it succeeded. So if I minimize it, go to all resources, I see storage accounts because I created this multiple times. I ran that multiple times. That is why. And if I see my VM, I see my VM. Okay, Linux public IP address, and I can connect to it using the username and password I mentioned in that file. Okay, so if I do connect SSH or RDP, or I can use Bastion. Okay, so that is how you create the VM using the Ansible playbook. I see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you. Have a good day.